My favorite film of all time is 500 Days of Summer, directed by Mark Webb. And my favorite scene from the movie is the expectations versus reality scene. Mark Webb doesn't have an extensive filmography, and the films he has made are varied in genre. But his time as a music video director really influenced 500 Days of Summer and this scene. According to the writer, Scott Newstater, the scene was not in the original script. When it was added later on, Mark Webb tested the concept on a music video to see if it can be pulled off. He did this Maroon 5 video to test if you could pull it off, if the audience would get confused, what, how many seconds you needed to, to do, and, and all that stuff. And uh, we, when I first saw that in edit, I'd get emotional thinking about it. It came out so great. It's my favorite thing I've ever done. And that's where Webb's style can be found from his time shooting music videos. From the jump of this scene, it starts with a small push-in, really indicating something important is going to happen, that we're being invited or sucked into the main character Tom's world. The use of the song, Hero, by Regina Spector, is very foreboding, with lyrics like, you never ever saw it coming at all, it's alright, it's alright, played over and over again. Having this non-diegetic song encompass the soundscape really helps us feel as if we're not in reality, that we're in Tom's head as if his song is repeating in his mind, selling the idea that Tom himself is too much inside his head. This is further cemented by the narration, which speaks for itself. Tom walked to her apartment, intoxicated by the promise of the evening. He believed that this time, his expectations would align with reality. The iconic split screen starts, and what I find interesting is that they don't play in sequence from the beginning. We see expectations first, and from this side, we see Tom walk up the stairs really quickly, as if in Tom's mind, he's going to run up and easily sweep Summer off her feet. But in the reality side, we really see Tom take his time go up the stairs. <laughs> I think it's really important for this split screen sequence to match up at some point, and when it does, it shows that Tom is starting to realize that his expectations isn't what is going to happen. So it was important for the actors to be blocked exactly the same way for both scenes. Another thing in the scene, and it's apparent in the whole film, is the use of the color palette. Tom's color palette is always in dark colors, brown and gray, while Summer is always seen in broader colors like blues and whites. Just from this color palette alone, we know that Tom and Summer will always have a disconnect. What I love about the split screen is that I find my eyes darting back and forth between the shots, making me really compare the difference between them, and it forces the audience to really see how far Tom is from reality. But in this scene, he sits there and has to face it in real time, that this is not going the way he wanted. But what's also very interesting is that rather than leave the party, he sits there, he's clinging to the chance that maybe things will change. Until... He sees the ring. The way this scene is edited on the reality side slowly takes over the expectation side and becomes full in the frame. And on expectations, the door starts to close. It really hits home that, that is hope of him and Summer getting back together. It literally closes the door on him. I really love this little cut when Tom sees the ring and the shot cuts as soon as his lips move. That slight reaction. Another interesting little thing that I really like about the scene is when he walks out of frame and we see the focus on the camera being pulled and the lights in the background blow up for a split second. Leaving those small frames in before cutting is a really interesting choice. And for me, it really feels as if reality is hitting him like a brick. This is also emphasized with the quicker cuts of him running downstairs, desperate to run away. As he leaves and he's walking down the street, we hear the fence door hitting against itself, emphasizing the force Tom had to burst open the door. What's also interesting is that other diegetic sounds are absent, except for the sounds of an ambulance. It's a very subtle touch to show how much Tom feels caged in and show all the pain he's going through. And at the end of the sequence, the city turns to a drawing as we literally see the world come crashing down on him. <laughs> 